Hey students, this is lesson two, three, by conditionals and definitions. Uh, go ahead and do the vocab here and I'll check back with you. Okay, we're going to learn how to write by conditionals and recognize good definitions here. And a key concept that you need to know, a by conditional combines if P then Q and if Q then P as P if and only Q. And what that means is that it's a conditional that's reversible. So, uh, so the way we would say this is a ray is an angle bisector if and only if it, divide, it divides an angle into two congruent angles. All right, so in problem one here, uh, we want to first know what the converse of the conditional is. And um, if it's true, then we can rewrite it as a biconditional because that means it works both ways, it's reversible. So first of all, we want to look at what is the hypothesis and the conclusion, and then we'll write the converse. This is the hypothesis, and this is the conclusion. So we are going to rearrange those. So the converse would be if the angles if the angles are complementary, then the sum of the measures of the two angles is 90. And uh, that's also true, and since that's true, we can just write this as a biconditional, where I will say that the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degrees. And since we're starting that sentence with that, we'll capitalize the T. The sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degrees if and only if angles are complementary. And that's called a biconditional. I'm going to let you try that. All right, identifying the, condi the conditionals in a biconditional. So what are the two conditional statements that form this biconditional? Two numbers are additive inverses if and only if their sum is zero. So um, basically we just have to go both ways here. We have to say um, that if two numbers are additive inverses, then their sum is zero. And the other conditional would be the other way around. If, two, if uh, the sum of two numbers is zero, then the two numbers are additive inverses. And that looks like this. All right, you try that. Find the two conditionals that form this biconditional. All right, uh, writing a definition as a biconditional. Um, so what we're trying to do, decide here is uh, if, if we can write something as a biconditional, then it's a really good definition because it's reversible. Um, and so it defines whatever it is really well. So is this definition of an equilateral triangle reversible? If yes, write it as a true biconditional. So here we have an equilateral triangle is a triangle with three guys congruent sides. So we're going to sit, see if we can write this as the, a conditional and its converse. So the conditional would be if a triangle is an equilateral, then it has three congruent sides. And then the converse would be if a triangle has three congruent sides, then it is an equilateral triangle. And it sounds like both of those are true, so we can just write this as a biconditional.
All right. Uh, so go ahead and you try that. Turn a definition into a true biconditional if you can here. All right, so another thing we're going to talk about is what makes a good definition. And here's our three criteria. Good definition uses clearly understood terms. A good definition is precise. And a good definition is reversible. That means you can write it as a biconditional. So let's just check out a couple and see if we think these are good definitions. So a, dogs are animals with four paws. Um, so one thing you want to check is so basically what we're saying is, if it is a dog, then it is an animal with four paws. And then think about, is that reversible? So if it is an animal with four paws, then it's a dog. And that's not true, so we're gonna say this is not a good definition. So we're gonna say no, and because it is not reversible. All right, squares have four sides. So basically what we're saying is, if it is a square and then it has four sides, well, that seems reasonable, that's true. But wait a minute, is that reversible? So if a figure has four sides, is it a square? And that's not necessarily true. So again, it's not reversible. C says Tuesday is the day before Wednesday. And if we reverse that, we'd have to say Wednesday is the day after Tuesday. Um, I'm going to say this is a good definition. Um, some of you might say that, oh, Monday is the day before Wednesday also, but it isn't the day before Wednesday. It's a day before Wednesday. And the last one, an acute angle has a small measure. Small is not precise enough, because uh, small could be, somebody might think 100 degrees is pretty small, and uh, 100 degrees is definitely not an acute angle, so that's not precise enough, so we need more precision. So we'll say no, not precise. All right, so you look at some of these def this definition, see if you think it is a good definition or not. All right, uh, go ahead and do this lesson check and uh, we'll go over this the next time we're in class. See you tomorrow.